wow i have been out of the vault for just a couple of weeks and the things i have seen hello everyone it's friday it is fallout friday i am loving fallout but i'm not loving it for the missions for the story i am loving it for the fun little bits that I'm finding out. So, I'm going to go through some of the little more quirkier, funnier bits that I discover every single Friday. To start with, let's have a little show you around my camp. Now, it took me a long time to decide to actually build a camp because I've lost one so many times. But I've gone for it and I feel stupid because the moment I lose it all, it's all my fault. But I've got some guns, just for a little bit of protection. If anything, the guns are more for protection by noise. Because I hear the guns shooting and then I come down and kill whatever it is they're attacking. They're not very powerful, they're only level four, I think. This is my main hut, as you can see, nicely suspended above the air. I will probably have to place some more struts to make it look a little bit better. And I don't like the actual wood that I'm making with, but I haven't unlocked anything else yet. So for now, it's very basic, but it's, it's doable. In here, we have a very basic square construction. We have a workbench in every corner. There they all are. Um, it's worth having one of each because they all do their own little thing. Um, I have unlocked this which is a toolbox, but it actually links to my stash. And then I got a little, couple of little lookout holes. Now I can't fall out of these holes, look. Because of the roof, it stops my head, so I can't actually walk out. I tried to put them half on the lower half and I couldn't see over the top. Whereas this way, I can actually see out and see everyone coming or going. It's a great little vantage point for my sniper. And out here, I have a nice little balcony. I can see for not very many miles because there are trees in the way. I might have to try and get rid of those trees, although I quite like the trees. Now, this is the most enjoyable bit. Down here, I've really been to town. Oh, you nearly saw it. Oh, you nearly saw it. I got myself a couple of steps here. See, I've got one step there. And then I've got some steps down here. Ignore what you're looking at there. Um, we've got some things over here. And then you see those steps there just to go up into the mountains? This is my area. Now, before I turn around, I've got myself some blackberry bushes. And I have a water filter there. I have blackberry bushes on the other side. Now, the water pump is handy because before you can afford, before you can afford to build an actual water filter, the pump is incredibly handy. Just take a Radex and for 10 minutes you'll be basically immune to radiation from water. So you just take as much water as you can, boil it all off. Now this is the platform for the struts. There it is up there. Um, I, like the, I like this little wooden platform being here. And I actually want to do place some bits on it. Just some aesthetic bits, but I can't actually build them yet. I need to find out. Over here, I have my corn. I've cornered off the area so that I can see where the corn is. Um, and then I have some tato plants, some taters. I've got a little fence behind just to stop them again. And there will be some bits down there, but these are the most important things. There we go, look at these. Got some lovely little poster lights. They really brighten up the area in the night time. It's fantastic. There's a lovely little shed. Now on the other side, I have myself some worn posters. Of course they're worn posters. You're not gonna get anything new in this kind of era. And then in my shed, I have all the generators in the back there. And as you can see, I have myself a lovely water purifier. It's only a small one, but it generates something like 12 a, an hour. And that's a hell of a lot of purified water. It lasts a long time. And there it is. 
I'm going to come over here so you can see it all. Look at that. Now, like I said, I do want to change the construction of the upper house, but at this moment in time, I don't have anything else. So for now, I'm just going to have to hope that I can unlock other things eventually. But I love everything that's on the ground. My shed, all my plants. I've got a nice selection of food being grown and water being purified. Well, now you've seen my camp. Let's have a move on to the mission I'm going to show you today. Right, now, I know I said I'm not going to go through missions. This technically is not a mission. At, up there is where you start at the vault. You make your way down here. This is a lovely covered bridge. And directly in front, you have her camp. Oh, I wonder where they're going. And oh, look, there's a drop right there. There was a drop right there. So let's go get that before we mess around. This is not a mission that I'm showing you now. This is something different. Difficult to explain because you don't get any waypoints or anything, but it's a part of the game. So. Go away, don't need you, don't need you, but we'll have the throwing knives, the spike knuckles are lovely, and whatever else they've got going, let's help her out a bit, there you go, and away! Grab some steel from the cargo bot as well. And now we'll go back. Now. Basically, this is what I did when I first started. I, oh, gravel pit. Okay, I didn't even know this was here. Yay, lovely. All right, so, when I first started, I like to explore. And I just like to have a wander and see what's around. Oh, hold on, I had auto run on then. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, so here we go. Yes, now, when I first started the game, I came here and I wanted to explore the area a little bit more. Now, this is the camp that everybody knows. And you run up the road I've just come from in order to get to the main part of the story and to explore and to do bits and pieces. Take that. Oh, some bottle water. Nice. Okay. Um, I might even take the knife and break it down. I'll have a think. Uh, let me just break down some stuff I've got here. Um, yeah, I need to get... Oh, okay. Well, let's break that down. I don't like using the knuckles. My bat is good enough for the time being. And I've got my sword. Okay. Oh, I can make sharp ones now as well. Lovely. Alright then. Um... Now, the funny thing is you basically, I'm here and the mission itself brings you down to here, over here, around the agricultural centre. I wanted to see what was over here and just have a little rummage and roam around here. And I just literally cut across the back from behind this camp over to the road and did a little exploring. I really do like to explore. I just like to, if I see something on my map, I have to, I have to see what it is, especially if it's a building of some kind, and I, I have to kind of just search the building because there could be anything in and around these buildings. So you can see there's the road there. And I was like, oh, there's some buildings. Lovely. Well, let's just clear them out. And there was a couple of robots. 
we're at Saturn. Um, I can't see any robots or enemies here, so looks like it's okay. Let's have a quick look. Now, first time I came here, there was a man. He was a dead man. He was on the floor here, lying on the floor here. He was dressed in old timey pre-war outfit and he had on him a black, black powder pistol and this. Hey, hey folks, it's your favorite tour guide, Dick Shale. Appalachia has several historical landmarks worth visiting while you're in the area. Today, I'd like to tell you about Philippi's Battlefield Cemetery, where the first land battle of the Civil War took place. Learn more about this important chapter in Appalachian history when West Virginia was still a part of Virginia. Make sure to stop by the museum to see all the authentic uniforms, weapons, and equipment actually used in the Civil War. We'll see you there. Ooh, Grand Mole Rat Meat, lovely. I'll take that. Now, the moment you hear that for the first time, it will say to you, add it to your map. And you know what? Honestly, it took me forever just to even spot, just to even spot where this place was. Because even though it said it added it to the map, I just could not find it. I couldn't. I'll just grab, oh, hello, I'll just take the ammo. Always nice when you get ammo, when you can get it. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, hold on, I'm stuck. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay, I got a bit stuck there. <laughs> All right, let's come down here. Oh, it's bright. Oh, it's very bright. The sun is out. Um, so I couldn't find it for the longest time. But you have to come all the way up here to find it up here. There it is. Felipe Battlefield Cemetery. Now, as you can see, I haven't even got close to there yet. Someone's up here. Um... Now, mainly, I've been this area, and it's all reasonable, level 5 to 10. I came to the dam, and there were level 20 plus super mutants there, so I stopped going. But we're going to have a look together. Oh, hello, what's this? I kind of saw this from a distance. What is this? Is, it is this someone's camp? Oh, they built it by this thing. It's like a mortar. Okay. Artillery smoke grenades. Nice. So it looks like they've just made just... Oh, that's not fair. They can build power armor station. I can't do that. That means they've come uh, quite far. Yet there's very little here. Oh well, that's good because this means I can actually just scrap some of my items. That's really what I needed to do. Um, let's get rid of all the money. And that, uh, yep, there we go. And then we can dump everything. Oh nice, that's handy. We can clear up some space. I can move that. I don't want that just yet. There we go. Oh, I love the fact that I found this. This is perfect. Well, I can't do anything with that yet. Um, okay, so let's carry on and get to the main town, I think. Okay, um, this area is not bad. It's good for kind of farming experience. You get a lot of ghouls here. 
<laughs> little power lines underwater. I like that, that's funny. We're just passing through. We don't need much here. Okay, we got anything in here? Oh, hello. Oh, what's this? Play. Lost another group of freshmen today. I ordered them to start scaling the escape ladders at nightfall, but it was a trap. The whole thing was covered in oil, and the roof asses lit them all on fire. And I can't keep doing this. I'm trying to starve them out since we control the roads and do an out of town, but somehow they keep finding food, man. They've even started to throw their empty food boxes down on us as mockery. How are they surviving up there? Where are they getting their supplies? Oh, hello. There's a ghoul. I'm assuming it's just talking about the scorched rather than the ghouls. Because the ghouls don't really... Oh, I missed. Oh, hello. Hold on. Hold on. I've got to bat them. Got to bat them. Bat. I'm going to bat them all. I love this bat. It's so powerful, really, at the moment, for these kind of guys. It's always one swing. Okay. Oh, I love that. Uh, that could help because I need as much of that as I can. All right, then. Hey, Grafton Steel Yard. Lovely. Oh, okay, it's a workshop. No, I don't know. I don't know. The workshops seem pointless to me, to be honest. Although. I feel like it's going to have super mutants at it, so I'm not going to be going near it, I don't think. Just passing by. Don't don't mind me. I can come back later, but... I want to go up a couple of levels first, maybe get a better gun. We'll see. Oh, graft and steel as well, lovely. I'm finding everything now, aren't I? Can't see anyone there, though. wonder if they're in the building. Let's have a listen. Hi, I'm Dick Shale, here to welcome you to the Colonel Kelly Monument. As you take in the view and history, consider using a Braxo brand cleaning products. I would. This monument deep in the wooded heart of, wait, where, of the heart of the Appalachian countryside, overlooking majestic Grafton Lake. Grafton Lake? I can't remember. I hate these last minute changes. Kelly raised the first West Virginia and became its colonel in May of 1861. Later in June at the Battle of Philippi, uh, Philippi he was severely wounded. I like to think that the Colonel would have used a Braxo cleaning products. You can learn more about the Battle at Philippi at the Philippi Battlefield Cemetery. I can't wait to see you there. Okay. Yeah, I think that went pretty well. <laughs> nice. So we are going to be taking the entire tour at this rate. All right, so we're there um, from a distance. Uh, I don't know if I can see anything. There's something there. Oh, Murlux. Murlux, sorry. I always say Murlux and that's wrong. I can probably pick one off from up here. Yep, there we go. I've got plenty. I've got 500 bullets. Let's just take him out. Bang. One more. Bang. There we go. There we are, we're not bad. I wouldn't mind having a bit more stability. Oh, I'm trying to hit his face. Get your face. Get your goddamn face, you. Come back. Let's zoom in a bit. Try and make a bit more damage. Bang. Didn't work. Bang. Okay. Well, we're chipping away. We're chipping Sodbury away. Oh, he teleported. Didn't know Murlux could do that. Oh, nice. Kill. Insta-kill. Uh, oh, there's one coming. Oh, crap. This is level 12. Uh, oh, and is diseased. Okay, this could hurt. 
<laughs> Brace yourself, people. You might see me die. Uh, oh, wow. I love this gun. Go away. Go away. Go away. No, no. Go, go. Go away. Ow. Oh, no. Oh, is is Oh, thank God. Oh, Jesus. He didn't actually get to hurt me. <laughs> oh, there's another one in the doorway. I can see that. There we go. We made it. We made it. There's no way you could get here when you first find that recording. No goddamn way. Um, oh, there's another mile lurk down here. Instant death, because I'm closer now and I've got it in the face. <laughs> Bang, there you go. Oh, there's something moving up there. What's that? Fuck off. Are you kidding me? Don't stand up, you look scarier. Look at the state of that. Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm, I can't go near that thing. See, I'm level 20. And I have faced a level 15 bear. And it nearly killed me. Came so close to nearly killing me. Um, so yeah, 26, there's diseased and legendary and stuff. I can't go near that thing. Oh, okay, there's a red roach over there. Oh, level one red roach, lovely. I can hear noises. There's something around. And I don't think it's the red roach. I'm sure it's something else. Okay, Bowie knife. Ooh, a Confederate uniform. It sounds funny, but one thing I want to do... Oh, hold on. Server. Server frozen. There we go. I want to collect one of every item. I want to collect one of every outfit. Oh, lovely. Black powder rifle, I'm taking that. I haven't had one of them yet. I've got Black Powder Pistol. Like I said, the guy who actually dropped the mission. Again, I say mission. It's not a mission. But the guy who dropped the note drops a pistol. So I have one of them. Civil War suit. Oh, lovely. Ooh, and a top hat. Uh, okay, I can hear... There's definitely something else around. I can, And I don't think it's the bear... Because I can definitely hear something else. Uh, is he still? Yep, there he is. Just wandering. <laughs> Just wandering around out there. I'm not even going to take the chance in case he sees me. Uh, that's, let's close that. Didn't close. So there's something going on down there. Uh, okay, let's... Let's see what's here. Well, I've already got a suit and a hat, so I don't need those. Don't want spices. Um. Okay, well, I mean... Other than the outfits and the weapons, I can't see very much else here. I'll, I'll go and listen to the... There's bound to be another recording like there was at the other monument. Let's open this up. Oh, it pushed me. <laughs> A union uniform. Oh, lovely. So I've got one of each now. I've got one of each side. <laughs> I'll take another pistol. I don't know if I'm going to break it down and get anything different, but I'll grab it. Um, oh, nice. I'll take some ammo. Uh, I'll take the vase. I'm not sure what I can use it for necessarily. Oh, crap. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm trying to life out of me. Go away. <laughs> does this work? Yeah, it does. Okay. Okay. Even though he's level 12, he's really not hurting me. Actually, I thought it was going to hurt a lot more than this. <laughs> there we go. Oh, God. I went right up in the fucking air there. Oh, I bet he was down here, weren't he? 
I bet he was fucking down here. Little bastard. Alright, well, let's open these up. And then let's go and listen to what they have to say. And then that'll be it for today. This is definitely a fun little interesting... There you go. Oh, the dress. I'm not picking up a dress because I have a schematic to make one. So, um, I'm not picking up a dress. Alright, well that's the whole building search. Let's now have a look. Oh, okay. Let's have a go and have a listen. See if there's... There's bound to be something here somewhere, like in, in a grave or something. I'd be surprised if there wasn't. Nice. All right. Hi, I'm Dick Shale. It's my privilege to welcome you to Philippi Battlefield Cemetery, one of the region's most important historic landmarks. This landmark is brought to you by Blamco Brand Mac and Cheese, America's favorite mac and cheese dish. Kids love Blamco. This monument marks the first organized land action of the Civil War on June 3rd, 1861. The Union had planned a pre-dawn assault on the Confederates. The weather that morning was rainy. Union attackers began firing their artillery, which awakened the Confederates from their slumber. The Confederates retreated about 45 miles to the south. Boy, I bet those Yanks wished they had some warm, delicious Blamco mac and cheese after that. Be sure to check out the Philippi Battlefield Cemetery Museum and see him relics that were used in the battle. This is Dick Shale, signing off. Nice. I wonder if there are any other spots along their tour. Because I just happened to come across his body lying there. And the other place I went to wasn't even a point of interest. Um... Okay, well, that's a separate mission. I'm not going up there. That bear scares me. Um, and I've got enough little screws that I now need to upgrade the weapon that I'm holding to make it the best it can possibly be for me. Um, all right, well, then let's, let's go back to the camp. If it's still there, it's still there. Lovely. Now, like I said... You know, I, um, if I progress in missions and I think they're interesting enough, then I'll include these on my Fallout Friday videos. But I want this to be more the weird, crazy stuff that they don't necessarily register as missions, but they're really fun and interesting things to, to see. Um, especially like that, when you could come across that quite early on i came across and i was all like level three i think the first time i found that recording and i've been waiting this fucking long to see what was in there so it wasn't the best thing in the world but it was fun i got a bunch of new outfits and i got a new black pistol rifle so that's cool uh this one I have to remember where the weapons bench is <laughs> all right well let's break down some of this stuff i don't need I need to be level 25, but let's break down one of them and just see if I get a new upgrade for it. Ooh, that's powerful. I don't. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. I didn't think I would, because I didn't for the little gun. Let's break up. Yep. Break that up. Oh, nice. I get another one. Um... Break up the vacuum tube and the vase. Hold on, can't get to it. There we go. Ceramic, I'll take that. Okay, so now let's um, give this weapon the final piece of the puzzle. Oh, look at that, it's lovely. My bat is as good as it's ever gonna get. My electrified sword is quite cool. Um, bladed, puncturing, and sharp. Nice, look at that. I love the way I need rank two for the first two, but nothing for sharp. I can just make that, apparently. Oh, well, I don't need it. I just wanted to see what it looked like. Right, we need to change our stock. Everything else is upgraded to what I want it. 
the stock is the last thing we need. I want this to be a, a true stock, I think. That's the best stock there is, really. There we are. Marksman's hardened, I think that said, piercing. This is the one I want to build because that's the next level from the short hunting rifle is the short combat rifle. So I want to see if I can turn the combat rifle into a sniper. Look at that. Marksman's hardened piercing sniper. It's even got a little green color to it. It's got proper army paint on it now rather than being wood. That is amazing. And that is the perfect sniper for me. I have some really nice looking weaponry for my next exploring adventures. And thank you very much for joining me. For my, let's just break those up. I don't want those. Uh, let's move some stuff across. I don't, I can't use that yet. So I'll move that in there. Cryogenic grenade. Okay, I keep forgetting I've got those, to be honest. All right. Thank you all very much for watching my Fallout Friday. Next week, come back and take a look at some of the fun and craziness that I've discovered whilst playing Fallout 76. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please take a look at some of the other videos I'm doing, and I will see you again next week.